hello and welcome back to another interesting tutorial so today we are going to learn how to cut and sew a high low dama bubu top and it's beautiful and easy to make so as you can see it's uh, rolling on the screen the front is a bit shorter than the back and it's very beautiful so if this is what you like to learn please continue watching till the end and learn I will take this opportunity to thank my subscribers for always coming back to watch my video and subscribing to my channel. I love you. I thank you all. Also, if you are new to my channel, you are highly welcome. Please hit on the notification bell to get updates whenever I upload a new video. And also hit on the red subscribe button to be part of this amazing family. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start with, we need only two measurements, from the back of your neck to where you want your slit to start. In this case, my own is 13 inches and the whole slit I'm working on is 28 inches plus 1 inch hemming allowance. From the center back of your neck to the 13 inches, it's going to be stitched, it's going to be closed and then from 13 inches up down to 28 inches is going to be open that is going to give the slip that uh, drape effect so i have on the table two yards of fabric and this is the wrong side and this is the right side so it's two yards by 60 inches this is folded into four that is one two three four and this is the shoulder line which measures 29 inches that is for the sleeve i'm using the whole length the whole shoulder length for the sleeve which is 28 inches for the sleeve and then one inch for the folding and this is on fold and then this is the center front and the center back is on fold and the length i'm using is 38 inches and then one inch for the hemming allowance which is 39 inches so let me show you how I folded the fabric. I'm using this paper to illustrate. So this is the two yards, and then we assume this to be the 60 inches in length. So we are using two yards by 60 inches. So this is how I'm going to fold it. I'm folding it on the yardage. I fold it into two like this. So these two yards I folded in half and this is the 60 inches length. So I folded it again like this. This is the shoulder and then this is the side which is open. This is my center front and my center back. And I'm going to take the neck from here, four inches neck width and then four inches neck depth. And I'm going to connect the points from the shoulder to the depth, like this. And then our 30 inches from the center of the neck to where I want the slit open to start. Let's assume it, this is 13 inches. So from here, it's going to be open. So I will be coming down here two inches. And then from the neck point, I'll connect it straight like so. Hope you get me. So let's work it on the fabric so that you can get more understanding. So this is the center front and the center back. So I'm taking four inches width and then four inches depth for the neckline. And from the width, I'll connect it to the depth. It's my curve ruler. The front and the back neckline is the same. So this is the neck. Now we move on to where from the center of my neck to where I want the slit to start. And I'm marking 13 inches here. So all this place is going to be open. So the next thing to do is to go to the side. So I mark two inches on the side here. So from the neck point here, I'm going to connect straight to the two inches on the side. So I have to remark the 13 inches down here. 
because I'll be cutting it off and then later take to my machine and sew half an inch here to this point but this side is going to be left open so I'm going to cut my so the next thing to do is to go and sew from this end here with half an inch to this mark and then come back and show you the next thing to do so guys I've stitched down the shoulder as you can see so this is the opening of the sleeve which give that throw effect on the sides you see this side is open I stitch from the neck to where I marked and this side also I did the same so the next step is to create that high low effect on the front so we are going to take one to create the high low effect so I took one piece and I folded it in half so we are working on the front piece now so we are going to work on the bottom side of the front piece so please pay attention to this side the high low is not going to start from the side it's going to be in the middle of the front piece from the side I'm going to mark about 11 inches from the side of the front piece please pay attention here from the side of the front piece I'm marking 11 inches inward and then coming to the center front from the highest point of the shoulder I'm going to measure I don't want the front to be too open to show my stomach so I'm coming down 27 inches so from this 27 inches from the side of the front piece inward I measured 11 inches and from the shoulder to the bottom I measured 27 inches so from this 27 inches I'm going to connect it with a curve to meet the 11 inches here and I'm going to cut this out so the next thing to do is to align the front and the back together again you are going to give it any shape you want you can just make it straight like this to shape it a bit or you can run it like this and what I'm doing on this side I'm going to do the same on the other side I'm going to place this on the other side and cut it the same so now I'm going to give it a curve like this on the side from here so I'm going to cut it because I don't want the side to be pointed because when you look on the screen you see that on the picture the side is not straight it's a bit curved so I'm going to place this on the other side of the booboo and cut it so guys, I've cut the other side too. So what I'm going to do now is to take to my machine and I'm going to hem all the edges and then conceal the neck line and then also hem the opening of the sleeve. I'm going to fold it and hem it all around and hem the other side and come and show you the last step before we finish with this step. So guys, I've done hemming all the edges and also I fold it a bit with pins because this material is moving a lot. And also, I use the same fabric, the pieces that I left to cut bias to conceal the edges, as you can see, very neat. So the next thing to do is to fold it into two, like this, so that I can shape it down. So I folded it in half. So what I'm going to do now, so from the shoulder down, I'll measure 10 inches. 10 inches will be for the arm opening. So I mark it here where the slit starts from. So on this 10 inches point from the shoulder down, I'm going to mark cut off my bust measurements which is 11 inches plus 4 inches making 15 inches so I'm going to mark 15 inches here 
on this 10 inches point i'm at 15 inches and on this 15 inches i'm going to go down by 10 inches you can go down by 12 it depends on how close you want this side to be i'm taking 11 inches and i'm going to mark it down straight and i'm going to mark 11 inches at the back also and then take it to my machine and run the stitch from this point to this point so let me mark the back one so guys i finished marking the two lines this for the shaping so it's 11 inches 11 inches you can choose to bring it down as you wish or you can just hold it with some inches in the middle here when you wear it it will give you that flowy effect on the sides so let me take it to my machine go and sew it and come back and show you the finishing look so guys this is the finishing look you see how beautiful it look very elegant you see the side the way the side drapes you see this is where the arm will enter the 10 inches are marked is the opening for the arm so if you want me to do a tutorial on the lower part of this dress which is the pants please subscribe and also don't miss out on my next video to see how beautiful the pants will look so thank you for watching we have come to the end of our video subscribe like and share if you find this video interesting and also don't forget to turn on your notification bell and leave comment down if you have something to ask me or you want me to do something you want me to make a tutorial you can leave comment down the comment section below thank you for watching see you in my next video bye